Good morning, VUHS. Today is Wednesday, February 26th, and it is a purple day. Somebody lost the green glove in the social studies hallway yesterday. If this is you, claim it in the film office. If you need community service hours, student guides are, in, are needed for parent-teacher conferences on Thursday, March 13th from 3 to 7 p.m. Pizza and soda will be provided. See Ms. Rallo, Rallo for in the administrative office if you are interested. Seniors, Balfour will be here on Friday, February 28th during lunches in the cafeteria to the take ring orders and graduation announcement orders. It's been pretty slippery recently. Let's go over to Damon to find out more about the weather. Thanks, Will. Well, today is Wednesday. Um, we're going to have a high of 22 and a low of 8. And tomorrow and Thursday, we're going to have a high of 32 and a low of uh, 13. Now, we do have an 85% chance of snow, but there's going to be some flurries. So it's not going to be too much of anything. Now, we're going to go back to you guys for more information. Thanks, Damon. The Governor's Institute of Vermont will host a 30th anniversary information meeting. Alumni of GIVE programs feature GIVE students. Parents and all interested persons are invited to attend as well as winners of the Gary Blomgren in the Governor's Institute Award. The event will be held Thursday, February 27th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the SIT Inter International Center in Brattleboro. VUHS Book Club members, copies of the next month's pick, Serafina, by Rachel Hartman, are in the, at the library. Stop by and pick up yours today. New members are always welcome. See Ms. Atley in the library for more information. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery is scheduled for Tuesday, March 11th in the Career Center Acoustic Conference Room for Blocks 1 and 2. Students interested in taking this assessment should sign up as soon as possible in the WRCT office down the hall from the cafeteria. Ca cafeteria. This, test will s this test serves as the military entrance requirement exam, but can also be used for practice purposes if students are considering a, co a career in the military. If students have questions, please come to the WRCT office to see either Ann Duran or Joyce Rathburn. Gabe, you had a race yesterday. Let's go to sports and see what happened. In local sports news, the Brotherboro youth hockey team has advanced to the Vermont State Championship, where they will face Northfield in Middlebury as the number one ranked team on Sunday, March 9th. Good luck, guys. And also in international sports news, the Obama administration has um, been moving to phase out junk food advertising on football scores and anywhere else on school grounds in order to prevent child obesity and create a healthier environment for the future generations. That's all we have for sports today, VHS. Back to you guys. Thanks, Gabe. The Arts Council of Wyndham County's 34th Annual Celebration of Student Art Month is this March. There will be an opening reception at the Brattleboro Boys, Boys and Girls Club during Gallery Walk, March 7th, 7th at 5.30, and a closing reception Friday, March 28th at 7. There will be a featured performance by the Snags during the opening reception. Student work will be displayed in various locations through the month of March. 2D work will be displayed at the Boys and Girls Club. 3D work at Vermont Artisan Design Gallery 2, <laughs> and, pho and photography at the Insight on Flat Street. Come check out art created by by your peers and support your community. That's all we have for you today, VUHS. We will be closing with a stop motion video made by our own Casey Shippa and Mika Beltview. Please enjoy your way.